Hello everyone, my name is Mohamed Radwan, I'm a Visual Studio MVP and DevOps Practice Lead. And to continue on our series for how to develop a Visual Studio Team Services extension and configure a continuous integration and continuous delivery pipeline for different uh, environment and staging environment. And here is part six, where we are talking about, uh, in previous part, we, we package the, the extension uh, and now we are ready to upload. So in, in this part, we are going to upload our extension uh, in our publisher ID. And we need to think that the publisher ID is just a space. Then you can upload all your extension in this publisher ID. And once we have that, we start sharing the, the extension with which account we want. And we, we need to specify which account we want to share. And then once we share that with this account, we can install that extension on the shared accounts. So let's see that, my publisher. And of course I need to go to this publisher ID because, because I, can't, I can't deploy or I can't upload uh, uh, an extension in another publisher so I go for this and then just uploading the extension browse and then going to the extension and upload it let me show you here so this is extension and upload of course I can't upload that why because this is um, this is a very small version because I already uploaded this extension I need to upload you know one higher for for this extension so once I upload it it will be here because for example this is 10.0 I need to upload a, a version after that this is a manual part so let's get back to our so once I upload the extension and install the extension once I install the extension I can go here First, I need to share the extension and then install. So, because this is a private extension, as we can see here, private extension. So, I need to share that with which account. So, first here, go and share. And when I share, I will just put which account I want to share this extension. And if I go for details, of course, I need exactly to specify which account to be shared because this is a private so if I if I try to install the extension it will list all in the drop down it will list all the extension the accounts that I share this extension with so as we can see I only share that with one account but as we can see that this is extension already installed okay so this is how we publish the extension and share with the accounts. I would like to thank you for watching the video. And please, if you have any question, don't hesitate to contact me. Uh, here is my blog. Thank you.